What's up, everybody? OMB. Hey, look, I appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel. Do subscribe if you're not subscribed. And hit that bell icon so you can be notified for future videos. And smash the like button and share the video, y'all. Man, this is bad news to me, B. Bad news, y'all. Hey, um, I forgot the guy's last. I, I seen his last. I think it's David Burnett. He was in. He came in the comment section today, and he just gave me some information, and I'm gonna expound on it. And this is per Dan Raphael. Y'all know who Dan Raphael is. If it's the same Dan Raphael, but I see a lot of sources saying Keith Thurman is hurt. <clears throat> I'm gonna read what Dan Raphael said. Per source involved. In the event, Keith Thurman has some sort of injury and March 30th fight is in doubt. How many times have we seen a fighter go to the doctor 12 days before a fight for, for an injury and the fight go through? It doesn't look good. You know what I'm saying? And then the other one said that he had a bicep injury. Let's go to that one. And this is the boxing voice says, wow, horrible news. Multiple sources has confirmed to me that Keith Thurman has an MRI scheduled for today for a, pos for a potential bicep injury. I'm told MRI results will determine if the fight is canceled or happens. Here's another one. Keith Thurman, this is on Michael Benson. Keith Thurman versus Tim Sue is reportedly now in doubt and may not take place on March 30th due to an injury to Keith to, um, to Thurman. Now, I heard bicep injury. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, then there's another one. I'm seeing the reports of Thurman versus Zoo in doubt because Thurman has an injury. I hope he's okay, and if he can't fight, wish a speedy recovery. And then there's another one. This is IFL TV. Tim Sue, highly anticipated March 30th clash with Keith Thurman, is reportedly in doubt due to an injury sustained by Thurman in training. Now, look here. Y'all hear about these injuries and stuff popping up a lot with older fighters. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking at it like this. And I, I mean, we don't know because we know fighters do this. They'll fake an injury just to prolong the fight. I'm not saying he's faking it. I'm hoping he's not. But if he is truly injured, I hope Keith Thurman gets a speedy recovery. But this is my point right here. If Keith Thurman is getting injured in training, what's going to happen when he get in the ring with Tim Sue? That's something that need to be thought about. You know what I'm saying? The man got mileage, a whole lot of mileage. You know what I'm saying? He's going in there with a guy who don't have that much mileage and who's a technician in there who breaks you down. You know what I'm saying? So what's going to happen when Keith Thurman heals up from this injury and he gets in there with Tim Sue and go to throwing them same punches that he threw that he got injured with, what's going to happen? This is why I say Keith Thurman is going to lose that fight. This is why I say Tim Sue is going to win that fight. Not that fighters don't get injured, but when you got a fighter who got that much mileage on him as Keith Thurman... Injuries are more prone. The older you get, the more prone you are to injuries. I don't care how much you take care of your body. Sometimes you can overdo it. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's just time to hang up the gloves. So y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. OMB signing out. Peace.